Hi guys, and welcome to the Adventure Bite. Today we're gonna to be making air fryer bacon. This is so easy, it's hardly even a recipe, but I have to tell you, this is a great way if you wanna make just a few slices of bacon. It's also super great to make it in here because it keeps the mess down. I don't know if you're used to making bacon on the stovetop for breakfast and by the time you're done, everything is covered in grease. So your ceiling's got grease, the walls have grease. If you make bacon in your oven, you kind of get the same effect, but now you have to clean your whole oven. So this is a great way to do this inside of the air fryer. It's nice and tiny, it gets it really crispy, but it also makes cleanup super, super easy. So just take this in, rinse it out in the sink, and you're done. So we're gonna do this, pull out your uh, air fryer basket, and then you're just gonna lay it in here. Now, if you have a tinier air fryer, you're gonna want to um, do maybe half slices. The big thing is you wanna see that it should cover um, the entire basket, but not be going up the sides really far. So we'll put that there. In this one, I can get um, four slices if they're not touching and five slices if they're touching a little bit. Personally, I don't mind if they touch just a little bit. They still get nice and crispy because as they cook, they're gonna shrink up and then they won't be touching each other anymore. So four to five slices, depending on what you need it for. Uh, this is perfect too if you are, you know, just you eating bacon. If I was making bacon for my kids, I have to do it a couple times in here if I do it. But in times like um, if I wanna make a BLT for myself or if I just need a few slices of bacon to go on top of a salad or on top of um, our deviled eggs recipe, you should check that recipe out for sure. Um, this is a great way to do that. So. There we go. You can see it's all covered across here. And again, they'll shrink up. You could maybe sneak in one more slice, but for today, we're gonna do five. So pop it into your air fryer. And then we are gonna get this done at uh, 350 degrees for six minutes is my personal preference. If you like it um, a little bit softer, you can go five minutes. If you wanna do it for um, crumbling on top of stuff like bacon bits, closer to seven to eight minutes. So might be a little bit different in each air fryer, but that's what works in the Kasori air fryer. So 350. And we'll get down to six minutes and start. All right, we'll see you guys back here in six minutes. Okay guys, we are back. Our bacon is done and it has been sitting for just a minute so it'll cool down so I can actually eat it. So let's take a look here. It looks amazing. So it's nice and crispy, um, perfectly crunchy, and it's very, very hot still. So let's take a bite here. Mm. It's so good, you guys. It's salty. It's crunchy. I like it in here too because the grease kind of drains off of it a little bit, and I feel like it just gets it so nice and crispy. So especially if you are making something like a BLT, something where you want that extra crisp to the bacon, this is my favorite way to do it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go eat all of this, and you guys have fun making bacon in your air fryer. Be sure to check out our channel, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you can get notifications, and be sure to check out more recipes on our blog. See you next time.